welcome back. Slasa 23 here, back at Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, checking out some, I mean, awesome knives, jaw-dropping, eye-popping, you name it. Some of the most expensive Microtex I've ever seen. Beautiful Protex. Let's, let's start off with the Protex real quick. Uh, we have first this uh, limited run Protex uh, Runt 5 in uh, this brass. I tell you what, this don't wash brass looks pretty sick with that mosaic button. I might just have to get this little guy. I hear everybody talking so good about the knife. And I don't know. What is that right there? Can't really tell. But love that pocket clip. That stone wash looks so good. Let's see. Got a little DLC blade on here. 20 CV. Definitely add some heft for sure because that's a chunk of bronze. I like this little texturing right there. Yeah, I might have to get this one. We'll see. But there's another one that I want bad. And can't get both. All right, this is another special protect. We have a Malibu. We have the Damasteel and bronze. This one's pretty sick too. Got Alabama Damascus here. Got that stone washed bronze. Now this, it's a chunker right here. Um, you have the mother of pearl inlay on the button. If I can get that to show. There you go right there. And there's the Damascus. Alabama Damascus, good stuff. Uh, it's got a nice dark etch on it. I don't think I don't think that's a stainless. I'm not sure, so I won't even speak on it. But it is beautiful. I mean that, especially that contrast with the bronze. I think I, I don't know. I kind of maybe I like the clip better on the runt, the muted clip. Cause you still have a dark blade there. I don't know, what do y'all think? Maybe, I guess they were tying it in with the hardware since you already have the, the um, black hardware on the Runt 5 here. But definitely cool knife. Um, what are these? I don't know if I showed the price, but the other one, the, this is for uh, this bad boy. Yeah, they, they don't come cheap, y'all know that, especially Protex. See that action? Oop. Oh, that was my fault. Let me let me try that again. Feels like the blade's lighter than normal. Uh, there's not as much stick on the button. Not much at all compared to my titanium uh, Malibu. So maybe they figured out what was causing the excess stick on that. I don't know. Um, and real quick, the Runt 5 is $279.95 for that bronze okay we got some microtex up first up would fit perfect in a stocking and here's the price right here and that is uh nope this is the wrong box <laughs> not a, it's not an ultra tech I, gra I grabbed the wrong box any of them it's uh uh this is a 75 i think yeah utx 75 you don't have to worry about it i'll put the i'll put this price up here on the screen i grabbed the wrong box like a like a dope so you have JG10 over the top, glass breaker. I've been wanting one of these little bitty 75s just to have it for like a watch pocket or something. Things so lightweight. Let's see, this is 1121. Great action on these. Love that. Uh, I love their Tanto blade shapes. And I think, let's see. No, okay, They're, it's the same, same type of button. I forgot which one I have has a G10 button. It's really comfortable. So that's the first one. These next three are just stunning to say the least. These three are all custom, Microtech <coughs> uh, Morpheon Customs. And they're most expensive they have in this shop. There's a price tag. Yep, you see it. This is a Warcom. Socom Warcom. I want this knife so bad. I, I may just have to get myself an early Christmas present. Look at that beauty. Carbon fiber, DLC, like an apocalyptic DLC finish on there. You can see, that's just oil right there, but you can see the stone wash on the primary, uh, just the satin on the flats right there. Absolutely beautiful. And the SOCOM was already uh, a well, I mean, it was weighted properly, you know, it was well balanced. And when you throw the carbon fiber on here, this thing is ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Feels all you feel is basically the blade and talk about smooth. I love the SOCOM. I want this one. I want this one a lot. The next one is probably uh, better looking, but that's, you know, it's your opinion. But this one is my favorite. Now you gotta check this one out. This one's got all kinds of ornateness. So we have another SOCOM Elite, Marfion Custom. There's a price tag, so you know, that's that, that right there, I think that's the most expensive Microtech they've had in the store to date. So, bam, look at this. Okay, you have carbon fiber with lightning strike carbon fiber inlays outlined in copper. I mean, beautiful uh, gold anodized hardware, copper backspacer, uh, gold anodized or bronze anodized clip and hardware. Now, the details are just so amazing. I, I didn't even notice that pivot on that side right there. But check this uh, razor wire Damascus. Oh, that was my fault. Razor wire Damascus out just to tie it all together. Now this is a uh, masterpiece, work of art right here. I, I couldn't buy this one just because I wouldn't want to use it. And if I can't use it, I don't need it. So... <coughs> After looking at this, I noticed, yep, not only, look at that, they even have an inlay in the thumb stud of um, lightning strike carbon fiber. That is insane. The, the work on this is impeccable. Smooth as SOCOM I've ever felt. Uh, man. But I still think uh, if I get one, I'm gonna go with the Warcom just because I have a Tonto and I have a drop point. I don't have that new blade shape and I just love that one. And I know I would use that one over this one. So that's the Microtex. We got two more stocking stuff. Well, no, actually one more Microtech. I'm sorry. I yep. almost forgot about this one. I kind of have this one already. This is a Combat Truodon and there's price on this one. This one is just like mine, except one difference. You still have that brushed aluminum with the blue anodized hardware and the dots right there. That finish just looks so good. And then you have that, um, what did we call it? Uh, I know this one's just got a brushed clip. Mine's got like a polished stone wash clip, but uh, this one's beautiful. And check this out. This one is the full mirror polish. I mean, yeah, there you go. Mine's the mirror stone wash and I went with the mirror stone wash just so I could use it and it not look like trash whenever I'm done. And I know most people who buy these, especially the full mirror polish, they're, they're not gonna use it. Um, but there, that's the Microtex. And that was, that was definitely some eye candy for me. And we got two more, well, really one more thing, but another cool uh, stocking stuffer idea. I got one of these, and I might pick up a few for my friends. These are coming from Berg's Blades. Uh, these are his, I think, the Butcher, uh, Bottle Butcher. So here it is. It's just a little bitty keychain knife, a uh, big old chunk of steel. I think these are like 440, if I remember correctly. I think they're 440. This one's in brown micarta with the little loop on there. And the cool thing is you have this bottle opener up here and when you stick it in the Kydex, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. You can uh, grab the key ring and pop them bottles, you know, for the holidays. They got several different variations here at Jim's. They got that one, they got, here's another one. It's like a layered, uh, it's either micarta or G10. It looks cool. Uh, stone wash blade very cool and they're, they're super sharp too these are did I let me see these are 42.95 and uh, like I said would make a great stocking stuffer for husbands wives friends family you name it um, and there you go like and here's another excellent stocking stuffer expensive stocking stuffer but tell you, you get win some bonus points if you buy this, especially for your lady. 
if she likes knives, of course. All right, there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, if you saw anything you liked and you would be interested in uh, picking it up, call Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Ask for Brian and tell him I sent you. All right, guys, girls, hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.